Hello, and welcome to A Thief Brainchild. A Thief Fan Mission by Sperry. As you can see already by the menu, this is not a typical one. Uh, already not a typical treatment. Um, let's try it. Version. I don't know what the versions mean. Uh, I guess that's just the, like the difficulty screen, but I don't know what it means. Let's go try. Let's try the middle version, version of point one. And that's too cutting edge for me, and that's that's definitely obsolete. I mean, you know, anything level version zero point zero, you don't expect to even function, right? This should be. The Bare minute, barely minimum functioning, and this is where it's got too many bells and whistles. So let's let's try it. Okay, checklist. Checklist says we're version of one. Messages. We have no messages. Oh wow, that's loud. Uh. I think something there exploded. Did we just pull out? Were we in one of those tubes? Or did it just explode on top of us? So I have to be walking by. I have nothing at all in my inventory. That doesn't seem to want to open. Oh. I don't frog it, it just opens automatically. I mean, that's, that's, that's appropriate, I suppose. Are these your skateboard doors? <laughs> They're labelled green, but that's one of the top thief assets. Is that like... Ah, yes, I guess so. Or maybe this is rain. Alright, let's try Crouched. Nope. Oh, we're away from the... From the alarm. I press back. I probably should have swum down straight away, but I was not prepared to swim down, so. <laughs> Metal floors everywhere. Do use by hand. Just down here, the. Oh, thanks. I did have a warning for spiders, but uh, of course I disregarded that. Wait, is that where it came from? Yeah, that was the spider door. Sorry, I got turned about there for a second. There's a door there, okay. I think it's just black. I literally could not see a thing in that area. Oof, flashing, lot bright flashing lights are uh, not good. If we keep going. Wait a minute. As I say, isn't this the same where the spiders were? But no, it's just simply the uh, same layout. Alright, if I drop down there, I can't get back.
Is this the same door where we had to get out? I think so. God, all this metal flooring puts me completely on edge. I need to de-stress, I thought. I'll play a little bit of Thief. Yeah. Oh, there's that grill there. That is the same door where we heard the... Uh... Is Preservation successful. These ones, guys, aren't preserved. Okay, they're not zombies, at least. They just look like zombies. I guess we're going down. Anything out this way? No. Nah. What would your choice? Metal or gravel? I'm sure that's not ominous. That's locked. Oh, what's this here? Oh, just, just a bit of texture. It's exciting. That's also locked. Okay. There's a chest, but it's empty, you know. Can I use the switches? No. Oh, there's a side passage. Oh, that doesn't help me. Oh, there's a ladder. It does help me. Well, there's a, more of that long hallway, which I'm curious about where it goes. Another corpse. Oh, I cannot see a damn thing in here. Hang on a second. Even with the lights up in the room, you cannot see a damn thing. Ah, there's a... Well, that's not uh, that's not helpful. You have a key on you, do you, mate? Uh, what if the locked doors are openable on the way forward, but the only way to get the key is to go in with the spiders? That would not be my idea of fun. Low stress fun, you know. So where was it going? It was going around to the right. Just running on this just feels wrong.
This goes somewhere. I think that's gonna. I think I'm gonna have to help myself wherever I try and go here, right? Yes. Well, I don't want to preserve data. I want to transfer data. Quick preserve. Can I get onto the ledge? That hurts, and I don't think there's anywhere I can go from here. So light up in that passage, but I mean, there's lights in all these passages. These are just these passages coming in here. This is a dumping ground. This is not going to help me. This is not going to help me. Yeah. Put the camera off a bit. a door in one of these really dark shadows. I don't know. Did I, did I try this door? It's a chest one, yeah. Right, maybe I missed something back here? Oh, that's a door. I did not see that. It's locked, though. I have no lockpicks and no keys. It's also locked. Did I miss something in here, maybe? Number one. Bones. Skull. And that's locked. That's where I came down. I don't think I can... I'm not sure about getting back up. Alright, looks like I'm gonna get back up. Um, well, I did know this was gonna happen. There were people saying, you know, is it finishable? It's completable, but you just get hopelessly stuck. Does it have... And stuff like that. There's some, some rumours about that, but... It is finishable, but it's doable. I just might need to go look up some hints. Go ahead, take another look around just before I do, because... Did I miss anything in this part of the passageway? think so, right? Mm 
Yeah, I didn't miss anything here. The trick down there is game over. Open interaction with Garrett player physics. That's where a little bit of alchemy would really help you. You've got a nice smooth connection between brushes there, but it's a, it's a little bit of alchemy trickery, but it's not something that everyone knows how to do because it's not it's never been well explained. So uh, let's just put up with it. It's the rough joins, which are awkward to navigate. And they're awkward, not so much because they're a rough doing, but because of the peculiarities of the use of player model, player controller, and physics for the player. So you're a little, it's basically Garrett's toe getting stubbed on, a, getting stuck on a little overhang. All right. Search the room. So there are two locked doors here, right? So locked door down there. <sighs> and then the locked passage right there. I feel my way, is there anything else? Oh, this isn't even locked, this is just, it just doesn't interact. It's not interactable. Give me a fright there, man. And this is just locked. Hmm. Alright, go look out the other door. The other couple of doors. Just one more time. And then, um... Plus, that's not, not heavy. Then probably hit the forums. I mean, I could try bringing the skull and bones and throwing them at the door. I mean, don't think it's going to help, but it's certainly a thing I could try. Wouldn't work on this door, sure, like the other door, maybe. Not being metal, perhaps a break. We can but try. The weird thing where my probe isn't working properly, the first time I've probed things to throw it, I have to right click twice. It does not seem to be having an effect. Let's try the ribcage. I don't think that's actually normally a breakable door either. What if we put you in the chest? So you won't collect bones? No, but they're neat and tidy now, so you know. I suppose that's good. Alright, I'm gonna go hit the forums. See if I can figure something out. Okay, I've been given two different pieces of advice by the forum threads.
One of them was look for hidden doors on the left of the tunnel. So here's a big patch of darkness. It could be hiding a hidden door. I'm getting stuck but no door. That's the left as you get down on it, but you know what I mean. But maybe not. And the other one was after enough fumbling in the dark, you'll find at least one key. Hmm. The third bit of advice was, I'll turn the gamma way, way up. <laughs> Which, I mean, I can try that, right? Uh, it's kind of... It doesn't really help. It's Black is still black. Yes, I'm just going to search dark areas in the tunnel and look for hidden doors on the left. I mean, I don't know how dark it was for someone, but like this, this is a hidden door they were referring to. I wouldn't call this hidden. Maybe I'm not fumbling enough in the right place to find the key. I mean, it's not, it's not only just it's not have a... Uh... Where was the door where I found, heard a... Uh... The soldier, by the way. It was back up, up at the top. So maybe I'm not supposed to be down here yet. Maybe I'm supposed to find the key before I get down here, which would be disappointing if if you can't actually get back. in saying there is no key in this room. I think I'll just take... No, that's just a glitch. It's also dark down here that I didn't really fumble around in. That's because it's kind of dangerous. And slippery. Go to the upper level again. Where there's a pitch black corridor that maybe he needs more fumbling. Oh, this one's almost high enough to mantle. Ah, come on, Garrett. There we go. Don't get stuck on little edges, Garrett. Not good for your health. Is 
this chest one? Okay, let's get fumble out up, up above the ladder again. Fumble around. No, there's not seem to be anything there. Well, this right, I might have to look at it in the editor to see what I'm missing. Which is never my ideal. So nothing on the opposite side, right? This one has a lot great. Which is maybe not so great. thing to do beyond resorting to the editor is to try climbing back up this hole again but I don't think it's possible it's just a little too a little too high did I look right up the end to the far end of the tunnel did I go all the way up here I don't think I did but it didn't look like there was anything up here and it looks even less like there's anything up here now. Hmm. That is too high. Okay, well, thanks to the magic of Dromed, I have found a key that I was not able to find. Well, I was not able to see. Um, which, which door is this? It's not the one I want, it's the other one I want. I walked past it many times and didn't see it at all. I literally looked around this body and didn't see it at all. It's camouflaged right there. But it's got a pretty short prop range, right? Normal, a normal key, you could prop it this distance, distance quite easily. You could prop it from this far. So it's dark, it's the same color as the metal. It's a very short prop range. All things that are trying to make it hard for you to find it, which is, all right. Kind of takes some of the atmosphere away when you have to go and faff with the level editor and look, well, well, first look for hints, run around three times, then faff with the level editor. I don't know which doors this opens, I didn't, not that one. I didn't make a note of that. Unfortunately, in my level editor search, it uh, kind of spoiled a few other rooms up ahead because it's like, okay, there's the X many keys, which is the one that's accessible from where I am. Do you also have a key? Oh, that's a key. That's that's visible, and that's see, that's the more more normal frog distance. That's fine. That one I don't have any complaints about. 
We'll sack him out of him. Let's open this. It does. How it turned the lights on. Quietly. So I don't know whether I'm going to meet more things. Up this end. Well, seems alright. It's locked. Also locked, okay. Can get back. Well, we're not getting up there. Just make sure there isn't anything here. That's just a blank wall. Blank pitch black wall. <laughs> oh, it's be so noisy. I was gonna say Garrett, but I don't know if it's Garrett. I don't know if I am Garrett. This seems rather more sci-fi than any place that Garrett would where to go, but <laughs> I'm not sure if I was even supposed to be able to mantle that. I don't know, it might just be a new mantle being missing with this a little, but this one surely is supposed to be mantle. <laughs> or again, maybe not, maybe doesn't seem like there's anything in here anyway. too low because I was trying to turn out the turn down the alarm sound at the start because it was drowning out my voice really completely so the sound levels are not what I would call ideal now this one you're clearly supposed to be able to map over Another thing I'm a little concerned about is I know that somewhere ahead is a room absolutely chock full of spiders. I'm not looking forward to it. I don't know where it is. I don't know how we encounter the room. It just leaves me more on edges than ever. ever. But that's water. Can we go much further down? keeps changing. We have tunnels in the water. Let's save that for later. Let's see what's down this way first. Well, 
absolutely nothing that I can interact with. Let's go for a swim. a spider there. I'm not sure I was happy to to see or hear me. Oh. oh. Did I just run out of air? Guess I did. Let's try and be quicker then. I have time to stop. Oh wow, yeah, my breath goes down so much quicker than Garrett's. Oh wow, okay, this is gonna be cutting it really close. Let's be a ladder ahead. Wow, let's just save here. So not only does, does he have a lot less air than Garrett does, when you run out of air, you just die instantly. <laughs> so I'm like I'm at full health, and that was just an instant death. So is that where I was before? I think that's where I was before. Yeah, I looked up here, so let's go around that. goes back to the other passage, right? Where it came from? That's that's where I went, jumped into the water before, and and drowned, and then the second time didn't drown. Swimming, okay. Ah, not much more swimming. Seems to be above where we just were. That's, I was looking up here when I was climbing that slope and it didn't fill onto this, okay. So I'm climbing up in this structure of whatever it is, and I think this is going to look down to where we've been two levels down, yeah, okay. We're getting, we're getting somewhere, but where and to what end? Who knows? Of water, there's a passage down there. That's probably where I'm gonna have to go. I bet you this door doesn't open. 
Let's do it. You hear that noise? Oh, well, there's a passage down there too. That's where the noise is coming from. Also got a key, okay. That's a long way down. Oh, I get to keep the key this time. Well, which door has the lady and which door has the spider? You know what? We can actually maybe answer that question. Lean at the door and see if we can hear spider noises through it. Here's something through this one. And what doesn't work? No? Alright, well. I guess we don't get a choice of, of doors. We just get a choice of which one I imagine is going to work. We go through. It goes in the square, in the diamond hole, then the square hole, and the round hole. Or do we go this way? Looks like we can't go this way. Oh, well, we can go this way. And I'm going to fall down again. Hmm. Wait, is that just where we came from? No, I could maybe make that mantle out. I'm not sure. Let's try this way. Oh, it's another train. Train door. Well, we could go for a swim. Well, I'm gonna get back and just try that mental out of there. If it's possible. I don't know if it's supposed to be or not. That's just where we were. Mm, I think it's not supposed to be possible. I jump, does it? Has it just come out? Maybe. Oh, wait, no, I've been here. Right, 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 right. That's, that's down below where we were plumbing before. Okay, so we have actually just been there. Alright. So the fact that it's possible doesn't really help. Does mean I could have got here sooner, probably, by coming the other way and jumping and meddling. But I didn't actually fall down that... Hmm, okay. Well...
shit, I'm stuck. This is a... Right. Uh, that's not going to work. Let me get, flip that lever and see if that does anything for us here. If it does, I will be... So there seems to be current... Either, either I've got stuck on the object or there's a current pinning me against it. I'm not sure which. It's unclear. But if this lever does something... Like open that grill so I don't get stuck on it. So the current pushes me out. It's fine, I guess. It's not good game design to have spooky action at a distance. But I guess you don't have too many options in this. I guess at least if you hadn't seen that lever, you'd be super frustrated there. You wouldn't, you know, not knowing what even to try. Um, but I mean, this level does seem to be banking on confusion, disorientation, uncertainty. I guess it's thematic. Oh, right, if I stop here, the current takes me. Okay, the lever doesn't seem to have had anything to do with it. But if I swim down, but if I don't go up, I should be able to go down. Do I have the air to make it down? I don't think I do. Hmm. That's surely what I gotta do, there's water there. Maybe that's supposed to be a way out. Ouch, thanks game. Great, it's probable. Doesn't use the key though. <laughs> Stuck on the edge. Might be where the mission ends. Might be better. How high does this go? A little bit higher still. Quick save. Sorry, quick preserve. Like jam. Yes. For a second there, I thought it might be doing something sneaky, like just seamlessly teleporting me around and making it seem infinite. But I'm getting somewhere. Oh. That's a humanoid figure.
Okay, guys, we're gonna just have trouble getting into uh, things of that size. Hello. Oh, well. Several humanoid figures. Are they friendly? They're not reacting to me. That could be because of death. to me. Oh, dude, I do run for it. That door's locked. Oh, I've got a key. I didn't try the key. Solve that problem. Is there anything in these crates I can use? Not seem like a very survival situation with locked doors. One mine is not going to do much good, is it? Let's try that again. Can I get more than one mine? Or is there only the one? What am I going to do with one mine? Here I have to be stealthy, and now I finally complain about. Oh, I. And I thought I saw a passage behind this box. Oh, uh, now I complain about the light gem. They don't seem to have a key on them. Does anybody have a key on them here? Alright, oh, this is the one I can't zoom in. Oh, there's an upstairs. Can I get to the upstairs? Uh, I guess I'd have to climb the crates at the far side to do so. Let's try throwing the mine to that guy. They can't quite reach me here. I mean, if they got a bit closer, they probably could hit me, but... Seems bad. That's mine. Oh, well, that just worked him out. Alright, well, let's not do that, then. Hang on to the mine. Oh, that's also locked. What the hell am I supposed to do here? Mine doesn't kill him. I kind of keep him keep him stuck in this loop of trying to spell cast and then not actually spell casting. What? I'm 
try and get them to kill each other. Power or what, mate? Ah! I don't know what to do. Kill him, but it wakes these wakes the magic guy up. I didn't throw my key up there, did I? Did I? I guess I, I guess I must have. room with locked doors, mages, guards, another locked door up there. We can't make any progress here it seems. Um, so, and also I did actually look it up. It's not merely it seems we can't make progress if we literally cannot. Oh, this is going to be noisy. Oh well, we don't care about waking them up. I'm gonna go come back in here where they can't find me anyway. Haha, <laughs> jokes on you guys. So. So I die. Uh, let's try not dying. Maybe a good plan. Let's try going straight. That's alright. Back down, all this stuff we go. This is a massive... <laughs> it was a massive detail getting up here. And it is... Entirely pointless. Because that is not the way forward. In fact, the way forward is... For some reason, the way forward is through this jump that I did, that I... Attempted out of curiosity and then thought it just took me where I'd already been. So now I need to make it for real. Which is not like that. Nearly. I don't know, it's, it's a very poor piece of design, this. A, a really fiddly jump that you can't reliably make that's with a massive dead end. I mean, I don't mind massive dead end so much, except that it's not clear that it's a dead end, because like locked doors tell you, well, there's a way past here, right? Enemies tell you this place is important. Um, it's a massive red herring of a dead end, that's the bigger problem. Uh, let's make sure it's saved on this side. Um, I have been down there, but... Um, yeah, not really ideal. I mean... The fact that the dead end contributes to the disorientation and uncertainty of this whole place, that's fine. But it's the fact that the way forward is this really fiddly jump and the other way looks more important is kind of a pain. Um, yeah, there's another place that's kind of like this. That's why I thought I'd been here before. 
Am I stuck? Yes. Uh, but in fact, I had not been here before. This is a different lot of water than I've been in before. Ow. Oh. Actually, maybe it's not a different lot of water than I've been in before. Maybe that's the problem. I see that is the problem. How come I can't... How come I can't surface? Is there a ladder here? Looks like there's a ladder there. I'm at a grill. Right. I'm gonna drown if I, go through, if I try to go through there. I need to uh, not drop on t into the water, that's the problem. Definitely, if you're not quick saving and quick loading this mission, you will fail badly. I need to go through one of these. And that's how, and these are our way forward. Not really happy with the design where you have dead ends and red herrings that are liter often literally going to kill you multiple times before you figure it out. That's not so cool. But, whatever. I guess that's why I looked it up, huh? We can keep going and see what else. Because um, it's funny, because generally this mission has been... Uh, the geometry, the confusingness of it has been really good. So it's been... Um, really promising. Really something different from the run of the mill. Oh, it's another mansion, it's another cavern of pagan nonsense, whatever, whatever. Uh, this seems bad, right? I think that's going to be bad. Let's find out. Or maybe not. Hmm. Um. So yeah, I've been really liking uh, some of this mission, but not all. I don't think I want to drop down there. Not one of the paths we can actually swim along. Uh, uh, go a uh, path we can actually go through where we unlock the gate. Let's go see where that takes us. Wow, we see we. Oh, we're running now. I was gonna say we swim really fast, but no, we're actually not swimming now. But we don't. We swim really slowly underwater. Everything is metal. And more water? Huh. Have we just got a complete dead end here? Why could we unlock the gate? Well, maybe this is just another dead end. Well, that's, that's weird. That thing's multiple concentric uh, hexagons. It's... You wouldn't really notice unless you're over here. I don't know, maybe it'll be screenshot weather. I'm gonna search this floor carefully. Cause it seems to me that like it might be the sort of place some kind of item might be left, like another key. Or, or it doesn't serve any purpose at all, like the room with the mages and stuff. I mean, it's hard to say with this mission. It's not really adhering to any of the normal conventions, so... <sighs> it's hard to know what's important and what's not. Well, we can drop down the other passageway. Oh, wow, look at this. Listen to this. Not metal. Oh, it's beautiful. Uh, yeah, so where could we unlock this gate? Don't know. In fact, I'm gonna just do a, uh... Hard save here, just in case this... Down here is the wrong way to go, because this is gonna be a one-way drop. I don't want to have to retrace a ton of steps. If this is, if we're not supposed to be going here yet. If we can't make progress this way yet. What's 
through this way. Anything? Oh, it's another... Another long... Drop down, but it doesn't actually get us anywhere. Spiders and a big pool of water, okay. Let's not go that way just yet. If we drop into that water, we won't be able to get back, so... Uh... Oh, there we go. More water. Wait, is this... This is just where we were before. Isn't it? Oh, this is the really long swim that I've tried several times and we almost reached this... Almost, almost, not quite. Never quite reached here alive. Right, okay. So that's not... That's only taking, that's taking us back. I don't think we can make it back, given how... Amazing swimming prowess in this game. It's the only key we've got. I guess we're gonna wake up the spiders with a big splash. And the spiders are completely invisible in the darkness so. Which way to go though? Let's try this one. Try this way first. Ooh. Well, it seems to be a ladder. <gasps> We've been here before! <laughs> It looks familiar, but then... You can say, right? So many places look familiar. This is not a mission where uh, you generally know where you're going. Wait a minute. Yeah, because this is where we're like, oh, there's the, we climb up the ramp to get up there and we just go to the top. We've been here... I'm going around in circles. <gasps> Wait, does that mean I could have just been here all along? Uh, well, I need to... I don't remember exactly where I am. I need to find... I've got a key, right, that I didn't have before. There were doors I couldn't unlock. Maybe I should be retracing my steps. I don't really remember anywhere I've been or where it takes me. Oh, I can't fit under that. Doesn't look like progress. I mean, how would I know if it's progress? Oh, this is just where we were. I'm gonna go back. We're gonna try something the other way because this this is the way we came the first time. So if we go back the other way. 
then we're presumably retracing steps backwards. Maybe we can find our way to the first area. I, I don't know. I'm lost. I'm quite lost. Swimming very close to the edge of my uh, breasts. <laughs> Not making me feel great, honestly. Right, well, these are doors presumably I unlocked them with this key. I don't remember. It's actually a couple of days since the previous bit I did. Hmm, we could swim there. I can see where this goes. So yeah, because it's been a couple of days, so I just don't really remember what I was doing and where I was going. Except in the Vegas terms. Well, I'm pretty sure we've been up there, up on all those layers. I don't know, maybe retracing my steps is entirely the wrong thing to do here. Maybe there's a way forward I need to go. Maybe the place of the mages is where I need to be and I just need a different key from somewhere? I don't know. I feel like I'm just wasting time here. Oh, I don't even know where I'm going. Oh, this is a drop down, right? This isn't. This isn't. We can't make. Right, we can't make progress here. Uh, in which case. It is the other side of the spider. I mean, unless, unless it's. The spider room itself, unless there's a way in the pitch black darkness there that I can't see, but. Got it. Well, maybe... I don't know. Does that mean jumping in here in the first place was wrong? So now we are, we are just going around in circles. How long... How many circles will it take to get me to get back there? I could just load, because I made the save. This way. You gotta be careful not to fall down. Or you just go around in circles. This is the room I was confusing the other one with because I both got, you know, this big cylinders crossing it. Let's redo that. Let's not accept that jump fail. Alright, it's a little awkward, but holding mantle made it doable. We don't want to drop down next, this is what we were. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I've been here before, I'm going around in circles. Maybe that's a good thing because it refreshes my memory of this place, but... Oh, maybe we can unlock this now? We can hear spiders again. No, I can't unlock that. There's a doorway out of here, that's it. I mean, maybe there's another way to go in that, in that room? Where the spiders were, but I don't know. 
Closing that to keep the, the spiders out. Spiders don't know how to open door open doors. I have, not usually anyway. They might be different in this mission. Right. Oops. We've been here. We have, I was thinking about the three doors. Trying to make decisions which one we go to. And we got that one. Right, and now we're back here where I started this. So there you go, 20 minutes of going in circles, and I'm trying to do this jump again. See if there's any way to go on the top now. Whoops. Don't want to fall off those. That is not very good with slope surfaces. I know. Feels like I should be able to get just high enough to map that, but I guess not. The other problem is, if you're going down the slope surface, you can't jump. So if you're doing this jumping, you have to go from... Make sure your foot is still on the flat, otherwise you just slide. So let's try this up. We haven't been up here, I don't think. Maybe that's where it needs to be. Right, right, right. That's maybe better. This is somewhere new. Uh, platforming means you need to take a very long detour when you... Oh, that doesn't look good to me. A cracked cleft camera. I don't want to know what that's going to summon. Why is it stuck now? Why is it stuck watching the where I need to go? Is that a bug or what? Is it inevitably going to catch me anyway? Is there a doorway up there? It looks kind of like there is. There's a doorway, but it doesn't look like a door. Hmm, maybe, I mean, maybe that thing will open it and something bad will come out. Let's not wait around to see, shall we? Can't see a thing down here. Oh. So isn't this the mage room? No, it's very similar, but there's no locked door at the top. More importantly, there's no mages and swordsmen here. I don't know if there's anyone here, but I might want to be careful. Also, if it's anything like the other place, there might be mines. There's something in a box here. It's a compass. Wow, okay, let's see, uh... Old-fashioned compass. I suppose it's... useful. Orienting myself. The thing is, I'm so used to reading the other compass, where the, where the north points are traced north, whereas here it's the needle. This is actually west, whereas I'm reading everything as north. It's Hard to use. This mission is not the one called Disorientation. That was a completely different mission. Oh. Another key. Alright. Well, we have found doors we couldn't unlock, so... Maybe that's what we need. We can't go that way. Kinda looks like there's a passage up there, but I'm not sure if we're supposed to be able to get up there. Because I'm definitely new mantling myself away through here. Like you could never I don't think you could ever mantle up. Well maybe you could, with difficulty. 
Ah, oh, there's nothing up here anyway. Okay, is there a door here? Oh, this is going to be one of our three doors, isn't it? So our spot was three doors here. Yeah, 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 okay. And this is going to open this one as well. Alright. We came around on ourselves. We got a new key. We got to a... I was going to say empty storage room, but it's not empty. Oh, hello. Explosive charge. Well, we've got some stuff now. We don't have any... The only thing we've got that can set up an explosive charge is a mine. We don't have anything to throw at it. We can't throw the compass. So we would need a sacrificial volunteer to set up any explosives that we might want to... Uh... Oh, I've been here before. Oh dear, so it wants me to use this explosive charge somewhere? Maybe this key opens the scraper. No, we unlock that. Wait a minute, that's retracing steps. Where did this go? Was this the water that we couldn't do, right? I'm gonna just do one one try of swimming back this way. I don't think it's gonna work. Oh no, this is a... God, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to get to. So I don't know what's... what's going to be progress and what's not. <sighs> we could kill a spider. Ah, this we couldn't do before, okay. Yeah, alright, so this is progress. There's another thing that's disorienting, right? The fact that these doors and stuff don't open all the way is... is... A nice touch. It really makes the place feel just subtly more hostile. I mean, it's an extremely hostile environment for Garrett anyway. I'm assuming Garrett. For whoever I am. But it's like gates and doors don't open comfortably, you just feel make it feel like this place isn't meant for people to be wandering around in. Although I have no idea what it is meant to be for, it doesn't have any clear sense of structure or purpose anyway, it's definitely a, a lot of it feels like industrial, you know, piping, runoff, reservoirs what, and stuff like that, but uh, well, speaking of reservoirs, this is not, this is not metal, this is rock. I'm hearing a lot. I'm hearing more spiders. Dead Burrick. I mean, there's wildlife. That's, you know. Another dead Burrick. It's a way out. I don't know why I can't surface properly. Like, it's a little weird. Where do I go from here, though? This is where I came in. I guess... I guess here. I guess this is why I've got the explosive charge, right? It's hard to navigate. Oh, I see. Hello up there. Can I throw this up there at you? Where did that mine go? Not sure where the mine went. Hmm. I'm going to try that again because the mine didn't seem to go where I expected. 
expected. <laughs> kind of sounded like it disappeared in front of me. So let's, uh... Yeah, the mine just... Oh no, the mine went up there, that's for sure. Well, there's definitely some spiders still there, but the big one's not. That might have been a bad idea. Ooh. This is... Not really good terrain for climbing. Guess I'll have to deal with it though. Uh, so I've read that one. What I'm going to do is quick load. So, in case it was a bad idea. Um, I want to be able to use quick save again. I'm going to make a save where I still have the explosives in case I needed to use it somewhere else. Because this mission is obtuse enough. It does not explain itself. So it seems quite possible that I'm intended to use it somewhere else. Oh. Oh, the poor barracks. Escape? Is that one of out? Hang on, hang on. I'm missing something? Could I see the sky there or something? It looked like a dead end to me, it's confusing. There is an upper level. Stats, no, nothing. Uh, we we escaped. Well, that was I was gonna say that's. I mean, that's definitely one of the strangest sleep missions I've played. Um, in a good way. I mean, I played a few that were strange, in a not very good way. That some of them I've never uh, finished recording or never posted. Um, not very many, but that's that's. Well, I don't know, it's a very different experience, it's very rough, um, and a lot of the roughness, some of the roughness is good, some of the roughness contributes a lot to the uh, confusing, hostile, labyrinthine nature of the uh, space you're exploring, but some of it is just like, makes it just too unnecessarily brought with death, like the way that swimming is weird, the way that drop, even like, I don't know what's up with like picking something up and throwing it is like, it's, for some reason it takes two clicks to throw something. I don't understand what's up with that. Um, I don't know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of weird rough edges on it, but very cool, I'm very glad I played it, despite all the trouble I had and the things I had to look up. Um, I think I might just edit this all together into one, I think that's probably going to be better. So yeah, that's that's Brainchild. One of a kind. So thanks for watching. 
I'll see you here for the next mission.